All right, what's up, guys? Today is April 29th, uh, Thursday. It's draft day. Also, my daughter's, daughter's uh, 10th birthday, so shout out to her. Uh, so I want to go over real quick. Uh, Coinbase announced that you can buy crypto using PayPal. All right, now why is this big news? Well, PayPal is one of the biggest uh, payment processors, not only online, but uh, I mean, I believe you can use PayPal even at Home Depot if you want to. Uh, a lot of most a lot of people have PayPal and it's either linked to the Venmo accounts or vice versa. So I want to go all over, you know, what's the good and the bad about that. The good is obviously crypto being more acceptance worldwide. You know, Mastercard announced they're doing their thing. Visa said so they're going to do their thing. Uh, go back to Dogecoin. Uh, this petition to Amazon to accept Dogecoin. I think eventually Amazon will accept crypto. Once that happens, crypto is going to go through the roof. Uh, whether it's Dogecoin or not, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then, you know, as, as soon as Amazon does, everyone else is going to follow. I'm surprised Walmart or any of these other companies that are second or third or even fourth or fifth behind Walmart or uh, Amazon online haven't done it yet. Anyways, um, so that's a good thing. You know, it, crypto is, is becoming more and more uh, uh, widely accepted as a, as a currency, if you will. Uh, however, well, okay, that's one thing. The other thing is Coinbase users can now buy up to $25,000 crypto daily using PayPal. Um, if you don't know what PayPal is and you guys are kind of uh, standoffish on PayPal, PayPal is basically a, a digital wallet. Um, you can attach your bank account directly, a debit card, credit card, etc. So here's the bad news about this. There are fees attached to this. And this is anytime you buy crypto, not so much PayPal. But however, these fees are pretty high. Um, According to this, you can lose up to 4% or 4% of PayPal specific fees. So these fees, that's straight from PayPal. That doesn't count your actual buying crypto from Coinbase fees, okay? Keep that in mind, or transaction fees, I should say. So that can be a lot. Um, as far as I know, they also announced that $25,000 daily uh it's kept twenty five thousand dollars there, so there's nothing else you can do in terms of, um, in terms of um, raising that daily uh, buy-in of a uh, crypto. Uh, Coinbase uh, currently, the way how they work is that if you want to use a credit or debit card to buy crypto, it is five thousand dollar weekly maximum, uh, and that includes bank accounts as well. So if you hook up a credit card or bank account, it's five thousand dollars you can in your wallet and buy crypto each week so this is a little bit of workaround it's going to cost you more money uh in terms of what paypal charges but um it's definitely the priciest option to buy crypto on coinbase so keep that in mind um just to go over the other fees you know how much does it cost on coinbase so um 1.49 percent uh okay sorry i'm reading some of these numbers here so all right 3.99 percent which is about four percent fee is when you buy uh use your paypal and it's hooked up to debit card and you buy crypto over coinbase so that comes from paypal remember and you still pay transaction fee on coinbase uh bank if you have your bank uh linked up to your paypal that's 1.49 percent and uh 2.5% on top of that so it's it's kind of weird how this is worded but I, I'll have to do more research if you guys are going to okay look if you guys are into crypto it'd be I'd be kind of uh how do I say this if you know anything about crypto even if you're a beginner I don't think you would buy crypto with PayPal but I don't know I could be wrong um if you don't know what Coinbase is, Coinbase is the largest U.S. exchange to buy crypto. Um, it is centralized, so just keep that in mind. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's basically controlled in the way that the government regulates it. Because they're also a publicly traded company too, which the IPO released two weeks ago, something like that. Um, do I use Coinbase? Yes, I use Coinbase Pro. Here's a, here's a tip for to save on fees. Uh, use Coinbase Pro, which is cheaper in terms of transaction fees than coinbase now the two things and i know i'm getting a little technical here we're sidetracking uh coinbase it's easier to deposit money and that links up to 
your actual Coinbase Pro. So you can transfer your or wallet or funds, I should say, into that. Not crypto necessarily, uh, which you can, but uh, actual you know dollars into the Pro and buy it. Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, all the other uh, cryptos for a lot less than you can in regular Coinbase. Now, the difference, another difference is you have to weigh this option is that Coinbase actually you can stake or you get uh, rewards back in the actual crypto for holding on in regular Coinbase. So that's between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. Coinbase, they both don't cost anything in terms of like monthly maintenance fees, nothing like that. So, um, you know, let me know if you guys think it's a good idea to have PayPal. Um, integrated with Coinbase. Uh, obviously, I think uh, Coinbase being the largest uh, uh, exchange in the US, it'd be interesting to see um, how many people are gonna use this option. Um, especially the $25,000, that, that's, that's, that's a lot of money, uh, $25,000 a day. Um, especially, I'm not sure what PayPal's uh, or even I have to look up Coinbase's uh, withdrawal limits uh, weekly or maybe daily. So anyways, again, let me know if you guys think this is a good idea. If you guys want to get into, uh, let's say, buy stock of PayPal because you think this is going to help PayPal stock, a few links down below, free stock you can get with you know some criteria you need to meet. Also, if you buy some crypto, whether it's on Coinbase or other platforms, you actually get some free crypto as well, Bitcoin usually, uh, again, as long as you meet the criteria. So and those links down below work well. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, appreciate you guys to subscribe button and bring content like this every single week from crypto and investment news to um, uh, news for small businesses and stimulus news. So thanks for watching, guys. Next time, peace.